Columbia Records is a multi-billion dollar company that strives in several media platforms, their most successful being their music industry. Today we will be going over the company and its history. Columbia Records derives its name from the District of Columbia. It was originally the Columbian Phonograph Company and distributed Edison phonographs and recorded cylinders throughout the Washington, D.C. area. Columbia Records became a leader in jazz and blues after purchasing the OK Record Company in 1926. The purchase added big names like Louis Armstrong and Clarence Williams to a roster of artists that already included big names like Bessie Smith. Columbia Records became a leader in pop music in 1940 with the popularity of Frank Sinatra. In the 1940s, Columbia Records also began experimenting with longer playing high fidelity discs to replace the before 78 RPM records. The first pop LP officially released was a reissue of Frank Sinatra's The Voice of Frank Sinatra in 1946. Columbia Records was a big success story in the 50s and launched sister record label Epic Records in 1953. Columbia Records began recording music in stereos in 1956, but the first stereo LPs were not introduced until 1958. Most of the early stereo recordings were classical music. In the summer of 1958, Columbia Records began releasing pop stereo albums. In 1998, the CBS Record Group that included Columbia Records was purchased by Sony. The CBS Records Group was officially renamed Columbia Records in 1991. Mariah Carey, Michael Bolton, and Will Smith were among the artists that provided hits for the label during this time period. In recent years, Columbia Records had added a resurgence as a major force in mainstream pop music. Adele, Beyonce, Daft Punk, Celine Dion, Bob Dylan, Calvin Harris, Bruce Springsteen, Barbara Streisand, and Pharrell Williams are some of the bigger names that are currently signed to the label. The current chairman is Rob Stringer, and the co-presidents are um, Rick Rubin and Steve Barnett. A major reorganization of Sony Music Entertainment in, in 2009 made Columbia Records one of three major labels in the industry. Sony Music began life as the American Record Corporation, or ARC, founded in 1929 through a merger of numerous record companies. ARC was then acquired in 1938 by the TV-slash-radio broadcaster Columbia Broadcasting System, better known as CBS. The record label was then renamed Columbia Record Corporation after changing its name again to Columbia Records, Inc. in 1947. Sony entered the picture in November 1987, acquiring CBS Records for $2 billion. Sony then renamed the company Sony Music Entertainment, or SME, in January 1991. This was a brief dive into the history and story of Columbia Records and Sony. Thank you for listening.